Thank you, everybody. Good afternoon. I've met many of you across last night and today, so I want to say thank you for being very welcoming. I'm fairly new to Primary Goal. I joined as the Chief Exec in September, taking over from uh, Louise Campton here. So I'm going to take you through a little bit of the Primary Goal journey and then what it is we do for you and your schools. So Louise founded Primary Goal um, off of the back of her son being on the autistic spectrum and realised that there was a real need for devices to help him in school. And she went to the school and they said, we don't really know what to do with the device in the classroom. So Louise worked in further education at the time, like myself, and she went home and she made sure that he was able to progress at home with the device that she had. From there, Primary Goal was found because she was absolutely hell-bent on there being somebody to support people in education to ensure that the learners could get the best out of their experience in school, whether that be primary, secondary, further education or universities. So a little bit about myself. I started off in the corporate sector and then when I had children, like many mums, moved into education. And it was when I was actually volunteering as a teaching assistant in my son's class that I realised that so much time was wasted through the lack of digital capability in that classroom. My son's now 16, um, so that was a, about 12-ish years ago. So... From there, what I did was I decided to qualify and I moved into further education. And from that point there, I was absolutely hell-bent on training people in education to go on and work in education to improve the outcomes for children. And I did that for a number of years. I then moved over into the apprenticeship sector and it was there in the apprenticeship sector that I realised the vast volume of money that floats around unused and if it isn't used, it goes into the treasury. And it drives me mad. So I went on and what happened was I went in to become the Director of Teaching, Learning and Quality and Digital at Basingstoke College of Technology. So some of you may recognise me from the um, EdTech Demonstrator Programme. You may recognise me from my Head of Digital uh, Learning, which was Scott Hayden. Um, and I was sort of floated around in the background doing, doing my role. So Louise at the end of the conference last year was really unwell and she um, actually had a stroke at the end of the conference. So for those of you that haven't heard from Louise over that period of time and you know her, please do go and catch up with her. And that was one, something that she wanted me to share with you today. So Louise approached me and asked me if I would come along and help her with Primary Goal, taking the Digital Champion programme and the other programmes that they were running to new heights. So what we have here is we have an apprenticeship training program for anybody working in education. And what we do is we utilise the apprenticeship levy, so £13,000 of apprenticeship levy to upskill staff through a CPD process. So this process here is for anybody, anybody that's passionate about progress, anybody that's forward thinking, you may have staff or yourselves may have an underutilised skill set, and it can literally be for anybody from principals, chief execs, heads of department, heads of faculty, teaching assistants, cover supervisors, business administrators, you name it, they can go on it. And what we do is we're agnostic, so it doesn't matter whether you are Microsoft, it doesn't matter whether you are Google, it doesn't matter whether you use Apple, it doesn't matter whether you use your phones, it doesn't actually matter whether you're still using textbooks, but you want to move over. That's the absolute beauty about this programme. So I'm going to introduce you to a lady called Claire, who's currently on our programme. For me, for the Digital Champions programme, I'm looking to learn what, what is required for me to be a digital strategic lead. So I'm looking at, at from a governance point of view, I'm looking at it from a financial budget point of view, I'm looking at it from a security point of view, really just understanding the industry and how tech is changing all the time. And the big buzzword I love today was about sustainability. You know, really, what tech are we going to bring into our schools that is sustainable? So Claire very nicely leads me on to the programme. So we've broken it down into five chunks, five sectors. So we look at digital strategy, planning and vision, and that could be at any level. That could be at mat level, that could be at individual school level, that could be at year group level, classroom level, you name it, you can take a look at it. We look at leadership and governance because it's really important for every single layer to understand the governance of your organisations. And it covers off GDPR, data security, and all of these topics that we've heard about today. 
We also look at auditing the current state. So uh, we take a look at what the um, state is of each individual classroom, as well as the school. And this doesn't mean going away and chucking everything in the bin and starting again. This could literally mean that you've got five devices in a cupboard that aren't working. But if those five devices were working, those 10 children wouldn't have to buddy up. And it's looking at all of those intricacies. We look at the device refresh, and we then look at the financial planning and budgeting, and everybody takes part in all of this. We have multiple partners that work with us. Um, we work with Microsoft, Google, um, UK uh, Head of Education for Apple has just approached me. They are coming to work with us. Um, we partner with LGFL. We basically partner with everybody that works from a place of integrity and wants to work for the common good, and that is really important to us. So the programme is utilises £13,000 of the apprenticeship levy. The reason I'm repeating that again is because last year, £770 million of unused apprenticeship levy just went into the Treasury. So think of it like a savings pot. It's a tax that comes out of every single school and business across the year. And once it hits the 24-month mark, if you haven't spent that savings pot, lovely Mr Treasury or Mrs Treasury, take it. And it does not get fed back into education. I think we can all pretty much guarantee that. In the last two years, £2.2 .2 billion went back into the Treasury of Unused Apprenticeship Levy. So our partners, like Lloyds Banking, they will fund and support with through levy transfer. So will Amazon, so will Microsoft, so will the combined authorities. And they all come to us, including uh, the co-op recently has offered us £16.2 million. We have a ridiculous amount of money that we can tap into, and it's really important that you hear me, that you find out the information, and then potentially you explore this with us. So uh, we have primary goal on demand that we've set up since September. This is a bespoke um, programme. Sorry, this is a bespoke. I saw the five minutes. It's distracting me. This is uh, a bespoke piece for our learners. So basically, if your uh, staff are in the classroom and they're struggling, they can go onto the instant chat and they'll get a response. So if your IT team are really, really pressed and tight, they can actually just jump on and say, I can't get my device to connect to the whiteboard. And there'll be somebody on the other side, because I know what that's like. I know what it's like to teach in the furthest classroom, in the furthest block, when they stripped the phones out and I couldn't get hold of anybody through the computers because the computers weren't working. So you can jump on your phone, you can do all of that. And it's really important that we support my, my I feel like they're my learners, these learners, your staff. They can uh, block in with one-to-one uh, -one consultations for 20 minutes. And then there's other training content which sits in Primary Goal On Demand, and that's from everybody. So whether it's Microsoft, Apple, Google, Acer, you name it, it's in there. With our recent cohort, some of you may have seen um, the Portsmouth, the Digital City, and Acer stepped forward and they've offered us £35,000 match funding for each of our apprentices that apply and it's accepted. So we have all of that coming our way. All of our learners through the, um, enter their uh, evidence through the BUD platform, and we obviously have to safeguard our learners, just like everybody here does. And these are all of our other training programmes. So, yes, we have the Digital Champion for Education, we have it for Administration, and we also have it for Commercial. We also have Level 3 ICT, and I know there's some schools here that have got learners on our ICT programme, that have learners on our Digital Champion programme, and we've launched Cyber. And the reason I've launched cyber is because my husband's a cyber specialist in the armed forces. And it was when I started to really understand the issues with cyber to the UK in the current climate. And this, when I say current climate, I realised probably about two years ago how bad it is. There is a cyber apprenticeship there. We have two cyber specialists at Primary Goal. So therefore, we are now launching the cyber apprenticeship. So all of the information that you've heard today about uh, the cyber attacks, that is true, that is real, that is genuinely happening. Um, and I just want to say about the Skynet, LGFL Skynet, uh, I was part of a programme that supported putting in Starlink in for the Ukraine. And it was absolutely exponential in their communication. So do take that seriously, because that is coming through thick and fast. <coughs> We also have the one-day cyber. So if you've got people that are interested in just dipping their toe in, if you've got somebody with that underutilised skill set, they're slightly intrigued, 
Then there is the one day cyber program, which is just a very small nominal fee. It's kept that way intentionally for the schools, but you can dip your toe in and you can take a look. There's some of our education partners and some of you are here today. And that's a little bit of a heat map of where we work across England. And there's some of our technology partners. That's it, thank you very much.